the latest version available, which is 3.38.61, latest update. SDK is on, if you need to see any settings. Um, the trouble that I'm having is with the Asus Rogue Strix GeForce RTX 3090. I've also tested with 3080 and 3070. So what happens is when you open this, okay, you see your card, and there's no zones on the side, okay, it's fine. Open up lighting effects. All right, so let me show you the card also before I press anything. You see, half the bar is on right now. So behind the behind the cables, the light's not on, but that's kind of stuck on, okay? So going back here, so if I add a lighting effect, okay, and I choose Rainbow Wave or Rainbow, no, I'll choose Lightning Link. So you see there's, ten, there's zones here, there's 10 zones. Okay, I'll come back to that in a second, but it's important to note that there's 10 zones for the Strix GeForce 3090, 3080, and 3070. Okay, so everything has gone to Rainbow Wave. The bars, the LS100 beside, behind the screen, ST100, uh, headset, mouse, right? Everything's gone to Rainbow Wave. And then the computer as well has gone to Rainbow Wave. When you get closer, you'll see that the left side is stuck. But the, the, bar, the half the bar on this side here is doing rainbow wave, but not this side. Now, if you come and you control and you remove these five, it'll only like remove the zones like on the half bar. So the other half will stay. So let's say I completely close out the Corsair app. Everything shuts off, except the RAM. We'll figure that out later. So, everything is off. If I reboot the system, Logging in. Corsair is about to load, and there it is. Let's open it up. Let's see what it does. Light bar is off and just turned on. I think only half of it is working. Can you see it's only half? The light bar does function appropriately. If I disable Corsair completely, the light bar does function. It's not defective. Uh, like I said, did this with the 3080 and 3070, same model Strix. I was lucky enough to have three of them. And um, yeah, 
So if I go back here, click on lighting zone, there's 10 zones. Now, one last thing, if I shut down the PC, pull out the card, put it back in, boot the PC, it'll only show me one zone here and the whole light bar will be controllable. I don't necessarily want to demonstrate that because I don't want to take everything apart, but uh, yeah, it'll do that. So the first time you boot up, the first time you put the card in, boot up, install everything, you'll have one zone and it'll function. But eventually it'll go to 10 somehow. I don't really change anything. Um, maybe you need the plug-in version that I have. Plug-in is 1.2.2.0. Okay. Uh, 4.0 of this software does the exact same thing. Um, I tested that. This is a fresh formatted PC. I just formatted to do more testing. So I'll leave it at that for now. Hopefully it helps you guys. Um, you know, email me, theos25 at gmail.com. I'm pretty curious to see if I found a bug or not, right? And uh, thank you, for Corsair, for making all these fantastic products because I, as you can see, I'm kind of in love with them. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.